Hi, my name is Mark Belish. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. I wanted to share with you some thoughts as to what's happening in the jobs market as of today, Tuesday, October 20th. Canada's K-shaped recovery spans jobs, debt, and housing. Canada's economic tra traje trajectory has split into two. It's what economists are calling the K-shaped recovery. On the upper arm of the K are higher earners that can do business remotely or have capitalized on new pandemic-linked trends. Think of Zoom or Netflix. On the lower arm of the K are hourly workers who are more likely to hold jobs that require face-to-face -face interaction and be employed in the industries that have been hardest hit in the lockdown. So think of hospitality, retail, travel, and tourism. Young people whose jobs are often first to be axed in a crisis or a downturn are also overrepresented in the bottom half of the K. Toronto, Vancouver jobless rates are now among the highest in Canada. The pandemic shutdowns have turned Canada's top job markets upside down. At 12.8%, Toronto has the highest unemployment rate of any of the 30 met 33 metro areas tracked monthly by Statistics Canada. This is edging out Canada and Edmonton at 12.6%. Calgary has had the highest unemployment rate among all the Canadian cities for quite a while. Vancouver, with a jobless rate of 11.1%, ranked one spot below at 31st, a decline of 19 spots. Stricter measures in effect in York Region amid rising coronavirus case numbers. Strict, stricter public health measures come into effect in York Region. Indoor service in restaurants is prohibited, gyms and movie theaters are closed, and public gatherings can be no larger than 10 people indoors or 25 people outdoors. York Region joins Toronto, Peel, and Ottawa as the areas that have lockdowns. How to help remote workers feel included? Well, there's some tips here that you may help uh, enjoy, ha have your employees uh, feel more included. Number one, set aside time for bonding, such as scheduling in a regular virtual morning coffee or lunch session with your team. Number two is don't go overboard with meetings. Some people need a weekly or a fortnightly check-in. Others may require this only once a month. Number three, brainstorm together as a team to come up with new ideas and initiatives. And number five, four, recognize employees for their hard work. A little pat on the back will go a long way, especially during the crisis. Four in 10 workers are feeling less motivated since the COVID-19 crisis. 36% report having difficulty staying motivated, while a third struggle with staying focused at work now more than they ever did before the crisis. Trends are driven by concerns about a second wave, subsequent lockdowns, and overall uncertainty of life in the new normal, based on data from mental health specialists. Feeling low? Well, here are six warning signs that you might be burnt out. Number one, feeling physically and emotionally depleted. Number two, you have a frequent sense of isolation from family members as well as coworkers. Number three, you're turning to alcohol, drugs, or food as a way to numb your emotional pain. Number four, you have a heightened irritability and feeling extra overwhelmed by the usual stressors. Number five, you're falling sick more often as your immune system is down. And number six, you're experiencing panic attacks. So avoid burnout by sleeping well, eating a variety of nutritious foods, meditating, walking, swimming, exercising self-care, and really important, reach out if you need help. TorontoJobs.ca is currently recruiting for a number of positions through our recruiting division. That includes a CPA firm in North York looking for a senior manager. We also have a valuations associate manager for a boutique firm in downtown Toronto. And there's a need for a paralegal for a sole practitioner lawyer. This is a part-time war role working remotely Healthcare law experience is, is a significant asset for this role. If you're interested in these positions or any other positions, feel free to check out torontojobs.ca, hover over the recruitment division tab at the top, and select recruitment openings. You can also apply directly through there or also email your resume to resumes 
at torontojobs.ca. torontojobs.ca is happy to present a number of virtual events, including the TO Tech virtual hiring event happening Thursday, October 22nd. There's the Canadian Virtual Recruiters Panel on Monday, October 26th. I'll be moderating a panel of recruiters who will be talking about the job market, things that you can do to help yourself find a job and answer questions live. There's also the Canadian Virtual Re Career Conference happening on Wednesday, October 28th. These are all events that are being presented by torontojobs.ca. For more information, visit torontojobs.ca slash news as torontojobs.ca slash N-E-W-S to register and hope to see you there. Again, my name is Mark Bolesh. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn if there's anything I can help you with. In addition, you might want to follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And don't forget to post your resume on our site and sign up for job mail alerts so you get email notifications when appropriate jobs get uh, uploaded. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay safe.